together in the stadium where the Heartland organized a traditional handshake and uh, uh, happened in 2011. It was exactly November the 19th, 2011 when they beat Ayimba here by two goals to nothing. But if they are going to beat Ayimba today, then these players uh, uh, should have a great say because only them can decide. Pele Obi, former Rangers uh, goalkeeper, is uh, between the sticks for Heartland here today. And of course, uh, Seibu. Badaru in just number 13 is a Togolese and uh, everyone is looking at him to give them the goals here today has a, a goal to, a goal to his uh, credit. Judas Ibido very experienced so also is a captain of this side. Chine Du Efu in just number 29 and uh, so the players of Hatland uh, pressure on them to have their first victory of the season. Will it come in this big match? Uh, these are the officials that would decide that here today. And yet here, Ferdinand is the center referee, and it comes from uh, Aqua Ibom State. Uh, Mike Ushi is the assistant of United, and also another new experience. They didn't uh, have any contact with the ball last season, as after Rangers, he decided to stay off. Uh, but then he came back this season and he signed up. Attacking the goalpost uh, to your left side of your screen is a national for Hartland. Uh, that was good movement that time from Hartland's uh, Saibu Badaru. Uh, he not only wrong-footed goalkeeper Paul Godwin, but that was an initially a very good strike by Zumana. He really took hold of that outside of the Hartland team. That ball over the top, everybody held their collective breath. In the past, that wouldn't have been. Rashid Olavi. Damage would have been done by Jolly Osas. Maxino Jobo counts. Final door. Looking for Bashir. A timely stoppage from the Aimbers, uh, from Hatland. A man, Kalu. We've already seen a 12 minutes of action. There's still goalless here at the Danayam Stadium in Oweri. Nothing to choose between the two sides, but Enyimba will be the happier so far. Here comes Infonu Do, but it was checked very well. Uh, the tall defender, but Infonu got his head to that ball. Complete the referee wound here of that throwing taken there by Hatland's uh, man, Zumana. Some pushing there, and the uh, referee. Assistant referee at the near side here saw that very well. That's Mike Ushie, the assistant referee. The referee also warning Zumana about something. Yes, uh, the inner uh, tug is having there. Uh, the white color coming out, and the referee wanted him to pull it up. Nelson Ogunna coming out on ruffled from that challenge. Another ever present for Hartland in the past uh, couple of seasons. He's really thrived since the exit of the man they call Tabineto, Victor Izurike, who is today the ca captain of rival premiership side, Dolphins of Port Harcourt. Aimba's defense containing Hartland uh, attack for it uh, so far. Here comes Osas. A chance for a left-footed cross into the port ahead. This one, what a shot there! And of course, the Hartland. I think uh, Nelson Ogunna took one for the team there. He had to stop that attack there, and he did. For a defender, <laughs> we, are, we are not used to seeing the man that way. I think he made a meal of that challenge, but watch this uh, Bedlam in the Enyimba defense. Good climb, but good header down by Said Badaru. The ball was headed out. Uh, how about that for a bullet? Very good ball driven in. You can see the header, the first one from Mekobu. The ball was headed. Corner kick it will be for Enyimba International. And Rufo Tebue. And Ravalogu did Bashir racing for that one. Outruns his man, can he? Bashir into the box, but the referee said uh, too much of a push and pull in there from Bashir, and it gives a free kick to Hartland. A 
the Raman Bashir just uh, rediscovering his scoring boots after notching four goals in the preseason uh, Super 4 competition. His side ended up winning that trophy. He's found it tough going in the regular season, but it's still nil-nil after the first half hour. Labi gave it to the a mainstay in the Ayimba side, very experienced, a young man. Olabi, who battling very hard is Bashir. It was easily, easily shrugged off by Nelson Obuna. You can see he tried to go around the left and the right, uh, round the back. Obuna unyielding. Shepherding that ball into touch. The fans loved that. Great defensive work from Obunayade. Yeah. You can see the scars of battle. Seems to be something to do with the ankle. But you can see, curiously, the Hatland fans are so passive. Uh, they, 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 they're not uh, supporting their team the way you would expect. It's really unfortunate because this is one of the biggest uh, teams in the land playing in one of the biggest, if not the biggest fixture in the league. That's definitely not a way to support your team. You can see the way to support. Uh, surely the... Roland Kofi has drawn a lot of fouls in this game and it's not for the first time that Madu will get involved in that kind of infringement. Bashir, his cross was uh, quickly cut out there. Uh, by Hatland's uh, big man, Nelson Obunaya. Atlanta, I'm sure, has had the largest contingent of foreigners in the league. <laughs> in the history of the league, you mean? <laughs> because uh, against Kaduna United, a couple of weeks ago, they had uh, six of them in their lineup, all from French speaking West Africa. Indeed, but today only three are lined up and they started 11. Uh, Atlanta used to having expatriates within their ranks. So the last coach a couple of seasons ago, Ludovic de Cruyff from Holland, Pavel Panov, in the late 90s was Bulgarian. And uh, they did have that uh, wonderful striker from Southern Africa, aptly named Science Wonder Chibambo. So they're used to having uh, non Nigerians uh, really playing here. Hatland in full control. Obunaya again. Looking for Badaru, couldn't get him. Can he get it? And uh, Hatland, beautiful. Eimba attacking Abalogo. Nice one from Bashir. And Nesro Bunaya takes it away for Hatland. He runs there from uh, Chibuzo Madu. The point. And you can see what I mean. They need to get him behind that defense. That's what they've not done in this first half. Although you flow, he gets his ball away to Kamal, and you can see <laughs> what was Nelson Obunaya thinking of there. Was that an elbow? They didn't get to see that very, very well. Until Fonudo will accept the free kick. Well, I think that's uh, a booking for Nelson Obunaya. I thought the referee didn't see that. It was uh, worthy of a booking, and as you can see, Obunaya is not complaining. Oh, good play. Hotline are playing very well now. Ebue. The moving. Udo, can he get the ball? Udo gets the ball. Can Udo shoot? No. That was a very disgraceful fall from Udo. What was that? I thought uh, he had a better chance to score. He decided to go down, elected uh, to try to get the penalty, but nothing was happening because the referee saw it all the way. Oh, shameful from uh, Udo, the way he fell. Opportunity for Abalogu, and Abalogu, he just wins. We had two of them in one club, but of them played for ABS before crossing over to Eimba. But of them also played for Abia Warriors before crossing over to ABS. Danayam Stadium, Hatland Neil, Eimba Neil. 
clearance from Olabi. Masterful display in defense from Hatland. Take it completely away from their box from Mufonudo. Slippery pitch here and there. Players falling once in a while here and there. Boomsong can't really control that ball. Looking very heavy for me. I've done much, much better. Saka, Olabi for Eimba. Looking to send Boomsong a message, but uh, a good defensive uh, network put up by Nelson Obunaya. Obunaya came to Eimba in the 2008-2009 season and has been here since then to Heartland Rider. So Heartland, the next uh, four minutes of regulation time and uh, how many minutes to be added by the referee might be talking about the seventh draw of the season. No one any game this season, only two teams have not done that. And that's uh, Heartland and Nimbe City. Goalers still here at Danayam Stadium in Oweri. <laughs> a game certainly beginning to run away from the home side. The chance can come now. Can they shoot? He does it the goal! It is Badaru that has got a third goal of the season. What a goal from a very slim chance. Two red shirted players were there, but he had a turnaround very well. He cap is off half of the court, and what a goal from Asedu Badaru in third of the season. I think Hatland they've got themselves an absolute gem in the Ivorian. Notch the equalizer against Kaduna United, scored the equalizer last week against Nebe City No Moko, and today. How about that for a striker's finish? Sets himself up and look at that finish. Nothing Paul Godwin could do there. And that was a poor touch initially from the Aninjiba defender. But look at where he stuck that one in. Side netting. You couldn't do anything about that. But the early ball, you have to say, from Kalo Jokabwe was much, much better than he had done before. And if they get their first victory of the season to come against the Yimba International, that will be such a boost uh, for Hatland Football Club. Chibuzo Madu, that uh, took his body off that ball. I wonder why he did that. That gave the initiative to Badaru. And of course, he did very well in slamming that ball into the net. All of a sudden, those fans up on their feet, jumping up, 